The Witches of Willowwood, Chapter 1 In a world where magic is known and love entwines with destiny, it is so often whispered, the fated were bound by the stars, their union unyielding and eternally sealed by ancient magic. Some say, first magic. Such a belief was carved into the minds of all who dwelled near Willowwood Estate, and yet the cousins held hope that they would be in charge of their own hearts, fate-bounded or not. Mrs. Winters, however, regarded the fate-bound destiny as a prize to be claimed, a jeweled treasure for the mother of a daughter who was fate-bounded. One brisk morning beneath a sky of lilac shades, Mrs. Winters, an aging witch once known for her beauty and visions, and Mrs. Sumner, a gentle witch with healing abilities that made her duty to give charitably in the community, sat together for their weekly tea and charms. My dear Mrs. Sumner, began Mrs. Winters, her voice as soft as the winter's snow, have you heard what the gossips in town are saying? Mistwood Park is occupied after all these years left vacant. Mrs. Sumner's eyes smiled, a soft glow emanating from her being. Indeed, Mrs. Winters, the whispers of the community have reached my ears. Who, pray tell, is this new member of our society? Mrs. Winters smiled, her eyes distant as if gazing into another realm. A young man, Nate Clearwater. You know they say he is the Mr. Clearwater of Clearwater Crystals? Serena Winters, the eldest of the Winter sisters, known for her beauty and sweet disposition, was sitting in conversation with Serafina, the eldest Miss Sumner, when she overheard their mother's conversation. She knew what her mother wished for her, that she would be the family's fate-bound daughter and raise them higher into society. Serafina Sumner, like her mother, had a nurturing, healing magic, and she was also born an empath. This made her particularly attuned to her cousin's feelings, even if she kept them hidden from general society at large. Quinn Winters, the second eldest daughter of Mrs. Winters, a talented witch with the gift of mind reading, joined their conversation. Her eyes met Serafina's, and in that fleeting moment, a spark of understanding passed between them. Both felt an innate desire to shield Serena from the weight of their family's expectations, understanding the delicate balance she walked between duty and personal desire.